verses 23 through 25. Y'all there? Yes. Come on, read with me. What does it say? Amen. And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage. And they cried and their cry came unto God by reason of the bondage. Their cry, their cry comes unto God by reason of the bondage. And if you read Exodus chapter 3, what it specifically says is God heard their cry. Right. He saw their affliction Amen. and he came down to deliver. Yeah. Praise God that we serve a God. Beginning at verse 16. Exodus chapter 6. Beginning at verse 16. Because God told Abraham, after the fourth generation, you will come out. Amen. Let's see if God is truly God or if he's a liar. Right. Amen? Because right. I don't want to serve a God who won't lie to right. Amen? Right. Verse 16. Y'all there? Yeah. What does it say? Yeah. And these are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations. Gershon and Kohath and Barak. And the years of the life of Levi were 130 and 7 years. Come on. And the sons of Gershon, Lindai and Shimei according to their families. And the sons of Kohath Abraham and Isar and Hebron and Uzziah. And the years of the life of Kohath were 130 and three years. And the sons of Moriah, Mahalai, and Musha, these are the families of Levi according to their generations. And Abraham took Joseph and his father's sister to Lot, and she bare him Aaron. Okay. Joseph's brother, of the twelve brothers he had, one was named Levi. Yeah. This is the priestly boy. Right, right. And in the text before us, Levi has three sons, Gershon, Kohath, and Barak. And as we continue to follow him, Kohath has Amram. Uh -huh. Amram has Aaron Moses. Levi Because in we 